flip on the interior flip on the porch light and now we have all this light to another episode of a uh, big red fish dad today we're just uh, tinkering well my son's resting he went to uh, Six Flags and rode all the rides and spent all day there yesterday so he's not really outside in this heat um, but I didn't really want to do anything outside either so I'm just messing in our camper uh, getting it prepared I know it's midsummer so we won't be using it for a while but anyway when we were coming home from the last camping trip uh, these batteries bounced off we were just using a bungee cord on two eye hooks right here and um, I guess we had a big bump somewhere along the line we came back and the batteries were all over the floor and everything else and it ripped out the wires and all of that stuff so um, I got them hooked back up um, don't have them charged yet we're gonna eventually run a small little one of those little 1.5 or 2 amp solar chargers out the back um, just to keep them topped off, you know, while it's sitting here parked and stuff. Um, but anyway, we can, we can run, you know, that's 12 amp hours. I got them in parallel, so what, 24? It, it runs these lights in here and the porch light thing all weekend. Um, anyway, I did, um, went ahead and installed this that we used to have on the uh, old ladder that we removed when we did the bed. Um, but this is just a little voltmeter. Anyway, but this is our little rig. You know, I don't know if you saw it in the, the camper video, but we've got our little... 12 volt thing for uh, phone charger and junk um, and then I just used two little terminals here to hook everything into and then we'll we'll probably hook the solar charger into that as well I'm just gonna cut a piece of board to go across the top here and uh, hook a J hook in here to hold it down and then over there I'll put a spring and then that way we can just tighten this one up and that should hold the batteries down just fine keep them from bouncing around and popping off and stuff so So I went out and measured, and I'm going to go one inch from this edge, one and a half inch from this edge. This will be the J-bolt, and then this side will be the, um, the spring that I'm going to put in. Here's the idea. This will go right across the cross the top of the two batteries and sit like this. Um, a spring was too big, so this S hook works perfectly. It'll hook into the bottom I hook that's already there that we had the bungee cords in. So on the left side there, we'll have this like that, and then um, on this side, of course, I'll have the the J bolt through the I hook, and this will be the one that we tighten down, and uh, we'll just stick that up through there, hook it on, hook that on. And then it will clamp down the batteries and keep them from bouncing around. So hopefully that will work and we'll try it out just a little bit. And then I'll show you once I get it in there. Trying to get it underneath all the wires here so that it will clamp down straight. There we go. So I'm going to use the S hook over here. little bit of a gap over there but I probably can tighten them up some or I'll put just a piece of you know maybe I'll go back and put a piece of uh, rubber or something underneath there but for now I mean we're not driving it anywhere um, on this side this J hook this is one we had in our scrap bin but it's too long the threads are not high enough so I just found some spacers and I'm just gonna put that in there put this little spacer we got there and that'll work great. There we go. Now this one will need a little piece over there because he kind of moves a little bit, but this one's snug as can be. So I'll just get a little piece of, um, probably put a piece of rubber on, or weather stripping or something like that underneath there. And uh, should be good. That'll keep it from bouncing around too much and coming off of there uh, when we're traveling. So, and then um, I'll get somewhere to mount this or something. Probably just get some screws and screw it up there. Put a piece of metal down, hanging down or something on the sides. Or maybe I'll just stick it like that. Who knows? Yeah, that'd be good enough right there, actually. And there it is, all installed. 
Got the little J hook holding it down here. A uh, little push button for our voltmeter. 12.2 right now. Um, haven't lost much power. And uh, we will get that solar panel uh, for when we actually go camping and hook that in there so it'll keep it topped off and stuff. And then, you know, of course, everything's uh, wired up to the light switches. And that way, when we pull up to the campsite, we just come in here, flip the lights on, start unpacking. And then, as you can see out there, it's nice. We got that big light right there, but um, you'll be able to see here's our porch light. And that lights up the whole back area. And we back this into pretty much right next to the picnic table and stuff. So we just flip this light on, start unpacking everything, and then we turn everything off and go to bed. But that's that's the two little batteries and the little hookup we got. Um, and you know, we like it because it's real convenient. There's no rummaging around in the bins trying to find your uh, lantern with a flashlight and stuff. And uh, yeah, just come in here, flip these on. And then we also have the, the plugs for the phones. Of course, everybody goes camping with your phone now, so uh, plug that up and hook it in. And that's about it. So another project finished. Just a little addition to the trailer here. If you want to see the, the whole trailer that we built and the, the bed conversion, because that gave us a lot of room in here now, um, just check those videos out. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, good night. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next video.